Good morning, my beautiful people. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Sorry, it's been a few days since we put a put a vid out, but um, crazy things have been going on. I mean, some good things, some bad things. We had the GameStop thing happen to Wall Street. So that's definitely a win for us. Definitely a win for the people in this crazy time when you know we start taking our power back in in the best way that we we know we can and that uh definitely hurt some billionaires on wall street and definitely hurt some government officials who have ties to citadel but uh, i just thought i'd make this quick vid because i do love doing these plug videos uh of certain creators because at the time that we are at now in this uh this madness, insanity phase where up is down, down is up, and good is bad and bad is good. It's a, it's just very crazy turbulent time. And I think it's really important that we find like-minded creators and like-minded people like ourselves that think the way that we do and that can see through the illusion because what we are living in at the moment is a well-constructed illusion from our TV, from our news, everything. It really is the matrix at the moment. And there seems to be two different types of people, people that are completely asleep to it or that are indoctrinated to it. And then people like ourselves that watch this sort of content, call out the establishment for what it is. And we see the future we can tell by certain little things that are happening we can predict where this goes and how this goes and it's not really a good place unless we put our foot down and stop it in some way so i think it's really important for us our creators and like-minded people to get together and to find our own communities and this guy i wanted to talk to you about today his name is beyond andres bull hansen uh, he's from norway He's an author, and I only found him about a, a month ago, I think, but I have been consuming quite a lot of his content. And he he has a very unique setting uh, for people like us. He's normally out in the wilderness, and his, his cinematography is actually really beautiful too. It kind of makes you want to crave nature. And he gives a, a perspective to us. I mean, he talks about, a lot of things that we talk about on these Drew channels from, you know, the Great Reset to the Dark Winter. But he also brings a unique perspective from uh, a Viking point of view, from, from a European point of view, because of woke culture or social justice culture, the, the, the cult that has poisoned society. Uh, has hit Europe harder than it's actually hit a, a, a lot of our countries at the moment. And we don't really get a lot of perspective from other countries. I think we have a tendency to forget that the whole world is dealing with this problem, not just where we are or local places. The whole world is dealing with this with this madness. And he brings a really unique perspective uh, from his point of view, from a European point of view, from being um, having Viking ancestry. Uh, he's also a novelist. And he can, he can be a little bit um, on the black pill side, but I, I, I don't know. The, the, the way he just comes across is very genuine. It, it, he spits truth. He spits facts. And another great thing about his video is the community that he's built. And I think we can all uh, enjoy a community like that because he's not uh, really a small creator. He's got about, I, I think, about just under 400,000 subs. He's, he's, he, he still does get censored quite largely compared to his earlier videos that you might see. Uh, they are going down because, you know, they, they do and will come for us all that have a different perspective or that goes against it. So let's just watch a couple of minutes of his videos, see if you vibe with him and see if that this is something that you, you know, uh, consume.
Have you noticed that recently these big tech, big tech bigwigs, the CEOs and so on from, you know, Apple, Tim Cook, isn't that what it's called? Old Tim, yeah. Uh, those people, they have been calling for censorship, more censorship of social media platforms like uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and whatever. And their reasoning behind this is that apparently if social media is not heavily censored, um, you will get lots of conspiracy theories and dangerous opinions um, among people, among the population. <laughs> um, and this Tim Cook, he said that I believe he said that uh, we need to censor social media because right now there are people who believe that the COVID vaccines are not safe. Um, I'll just leave that, okay? We'll just leave that. Um, but th that's what he basically what he said. So uh, we need everyone to think the same way about everything, basically. Uh, we can't have these dangerous conspiracy theories floating around uh, on the internet. Now, before I continue with the video, may I ask that you consider to subscribe to this channel. Uh, it would help the channel a lot, actually. And if you also hit that bell, YouTube will send you a notification when I upload new videos. Now, of course, the big issue here is who decides what is a conspiracy theory, what is truth. Now, if I said that Apple is profiting from slave labor in China, is that a conspiracy theory or is it the truth? I suspect that if Tim, Cook's, Tim Cook and his minions were to decide, they would say, no, no, that's, that's just a conspiracy theory. And we need to censor that. We need to get rid of all rumors of that. Uh, in, on the internet and uh, on social media. It is a certain sign that we're moving towards a more totalitarian society when the people in power start censoring more and more. So in a healthy and free society you will have a debate, right? So that people can uh, talk, people can meet and they can talk and they can disagree and our, our children can learn that it, it is okay to disagree with other people. We don't have to silence them or, you know, use violence or anything like that. We can, we can have a debate, right? And there will be people out there who will say things that will disgust you, that will disgust me. There will be people out there who will say things that are wrong, that are false. There will be, even be people out there who are just lying. And, you know, I see that every day. It, it, it's all over the place. But I don't see those people being censored. The people with uh, the incorrect political opinions. Those are the people who are being censored. And that's dangerous. That's not the direction we want to... That's not the direction we want to move, you know. It's, um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, so he's a very genuine guy. He does some really great stuff. Uh, but yeah, the community that he, that he has built is fantastic. If you go under the comment section, it really uh, makes you feel that you're not alone. And that is one of, uh, another aspect of his videos that I, that I do love is all the people in his comments, thousands of people there that uh, see the world that we do. And I think that's important to be reminded that through this insanity, through this madness that is engripped this planet in, in, in every facet, that the people that they're trying to ostracize, which is us, are still plentiful. There is still a lot of us and hopefully you find comfort in some of the comments there and you can mingle yourselves. 
But I just wanted to make that quickly for you guys because, yeah, I really love pl plugging other creators because they're trying to separate us in every way they can. They're just trying to separate us from each other. It's sort of like a war tactic. I mean, the first thing you do is you cut lines of communication. They've cut us from certain platforms already. Uh, as, as you might know, Edge and I are on different platforms, being on Gab, uh, BitChute, Mines, yeah, kicking us all off Twitter, trying to separate us. All very planned, all very malicious, but we do have to find a way to stick together. And that's the, that's how we win. So I just wanted to make that for you quickly. I just wanted to touch base with you guys now that we're still here. Uh, it's just been a real busy, busy few days and it is important during these times to also make sure everything around the family is well and good and taken care of and that's just where we are at, at the moment but we do have a podcast coming out or hopefully it will be in a couple of days uh, that is going to be called the game is rigged which i'm really excited for uh, because we're going to you know dig deep into this disillusion on the planet and how it really is uh, stacked against us in a lot of ways and, and we've seen that this week through Wall Street, where when normal everyday people start benefiting from a corrupt system, they get shut down. They get painted as the bad guys. We saw it from the media sticking up for billionaires and hedge funds, and it's uh, it's it's incredible, but not in a good way that we live on a planet like this with a mentality like this. But I hope you all have a beautiful day. Hope you all take care of yourselves mentally, emotionally, and physically, and just know that uh, in the end, we'll, we'll get through this. doesn't matter how long it takes. So this is the speaker. Stay ravenous.